Hello students, welcome to Adi Chemistry Online Coaching. In this presentation, I will explain weights rules which help in determining the type and structure of inorganic cluster compounds. I am Aditya Vardhan from adichemistry.com Varangal. Let us get started. Weights rules are used to determine the type, shape, a number of skeletal electron pairs of inorganic cage compounds. In exams, most of the questions are focused on these three aspects. Using Wade's rules, we can determine the type and shape of inorganic cage or cluster compounds such as boranes, carboranes, transition metal clusters, and main group cage compounds as shown on the slide. The structure of an inorganic cage compound with n vertices is related to a parent deltahedron having x vertices. This parent deltahedron is like an ideal framework from which the actual cluster is formed. Now this relationship can happen in three ways. Sometimes the number of vertices remains the same, that is x is equal to n. Sometimes one or more vertices are missing, x is greater than n in this case. And in some cases, extra vertices are added, therefore x is less than n. The difference between n and x, that is n minus x is called the weights structural index represented by w. If W is equal to 0, the structure is just like the parent deltahedron. If W is negative, it means a few vertices are missing from the parent deltahedron. And if W is positive, it means some extra vertices are present in the cluster when compared to the parent deltahedron. If X is equal to N, the number of vertices in the parent deltahedron and the actual cluster compound are the same as shown on the screen. In this case, the structures are identical and the compound is called a closotype cluster. Here, the weights index W, that is n minus x, is 0. If x is greater than n, it means one or more vertices are missing from the parent deltahedron when forming the cluster. If one vertex is missing, the cluster is called a nidotype cluster. And in this case, the weights index W is minus 1. If two vertices are missing from the parent deltahedron, the cluster is called an arachnotype cluster. Here, the weights index W is equal to minus 2. If three vertices are missing from the parent deltahedron, the cluster is said to be a hypotype cluster. Here, the weights index W is given by minus 3. It is also possible for the actual cluster to have more vertices than the parent deltahedron. In this case, x is less than n. For example, if one extra vertex is added, the cluster is called a monocapped closotype cluster. Here, w is equal to plus 1. Let us quickly summarize weights rules for inorganic cage compounds. The weights index, that is n minus x, tells us how the actual cluster differs from the parent deltahedron. When n minus x equals 0, the cluster has same shape as the deltahedron, that is called a closo cluster. If n minus x is minus 1, one vertex is missing, that is a nero cluster. If minus 2, that means two vertices are missing, giving an arachno cluster. Minus 3 is a hypho cluster and minus 4 is a clado cluster. Now, if n minus x is positive, it means extra vertices are added. 
plus 1 gives a monocapped closo and plus 2 gives a bicapped closo. So by just looking at n minus x, we can quickly identify the type and shape of any inorganic cage compound. So the key to finding the type and shape of an inorganic cluster compound is to determine the weight's structural index n minus x. This can be done using shortcut formulae as shown on the screen. The first formula is for inorganic clusters of main group elements given by W is equal to 4n plus 2 minus V divided by 2. The second formula is for transition metal clusters. Here W is equal to 14n plus 2 minus V divided by 2. Here n is the number of vertices in the actual cluster and V is the total valence electrons of all atoms in the skeletal structure of the cage compound. If the cluster has a negative charge, we add it to V. If there is a positive charge, we have to subtract it from V. Now our task is to find out what is the n value for a given cluster. Just by looking at the formula, we can often determine the n value. For example, in B6H10, the n value is 6 since there are 6 boron atoms here. We usually ignore smaller atoms like hydrogen or other ligands when counting the vertices. We only focus on the main structural cage framework. Similarly, in B7H7 with 2 minus charge, the number of vertices is 7 since there are 7 boron atoms. For C2, B7H13, the number of vertices is 9 because we have to count 2 carbon atoms as well as 7 boron atoms as part of the framework. For other clusters, PB5 with 2 minus charge, the number of vertices is clear, it is 5. And in case of uh, CO4 and CO taken 12 times, the number of vertices is 4. Here we are ignoring the CO ligands, only we are counting the cobalt atoms. In case of MO6 Cl8 with 4 plus charge, the number of vertices is 6. Here we are ignoring Cl ligands. Now let us see how to calculate the valence electron count for a given cluster using a few examples. First let us consider B7H72 minus. In this case, the total number of valence electrons is calculated by using the formula shown on the screen. Here Vb is the number of valence electrons in each boron atom that is equal to 3. We know that boron atom belongs to 3A group. And the number of boron atoms in the given cluster is equal to 7. VH is the valence electrons in the hydrogen atom and we know that it is equal to 1. And the number of hydrogen atoms in the given cluster is equal to 7. And the negative charge is minus 2. However, we have to take the absolute value. So it is equal to 2. Upon substituting these values, we get V is equal to 3 into 7 plus 1 into 7 plus 2 that is equal to 30. This gives the total valence electrons which can then be used in the weights formula to find the weights index n minus x. In case of CO4, CO taken 12 times a transition metallic cluster, the total valence electron count is calculated as shown on the screen. As there is no negative charge, we do not include the negative charge term. In this case, VCO is equal to valence electrons in CO atom that is equal to 9. And the number of cobalt atoms in the given cluster is equal to 4. And uh, here VCO, CO here is carbon monoxide, is equal to electrons contributed by each CO ligand and that is equal to 2. Recall that simple ligands contribute two electrons while the chelated ligands may contribute more. And the number of carbon monoxide ligands is equal to 12. 
substituting these values in the given formula we will get v is equal to 60. Now let us see how to find the number of skeletal electron pairs which is another value often asked in the exams. It is given by x plus 1 since the weight index is given by w is equal to n minus x the number of skeletal electron pairs can be written as n minus w plus 1. This formula allows us to directly calculate the number of skeletal electron pairs once we know the weights index. Now let us put everything together and determine the type, shape and skeletal electron pair value using the examples. The first example is B7H72 minus. As already seen, the n value is 7 as there are 7 boron atoms and the total valence electron count is equal to 30. We have seen this already. And upon substituting n and v values in the shortcut formula, w is equal to n minus x that is equal to 4n plus 2 minus v divided by 2, we get the weight's structural index value equals to 0. Note that the formula here given is only applicable for clusters belonging to the main group and x is equal to n minus w that comes to 7 and finally the value of SEP skeletal electron pairs is equal to 8 and since w is equal to 0 the type of cluster is said to be closer that means no vertex is missing from the parent delta hedron while arriving at the actual cluster molecule. The shape of cluster hence is same as parent delta hedron. We know that for seven vertices the structure of a polyhedron is pentagonal bipyramidal and as calculated SCP is equal to 8. And this is the shape of B7H72 minus ion. It is pentagonal bipyramidal. There are seven boron atoms occupying the vertex positions. The second example is tetracobalt dodecacarbonyl. The n value is 4 as there are four cobalt atoms forming the framework. The total valence electron count is equal to 60. And using the shortcut formula for transition metal clusters, W is equal to N minus X, that is equal to 14N plus 2 minus V divided by 2, we get the weight structural index value equals to minus 1. Note that this 14N formula is applicable only for clusters formed by transition metals. And X value is equal to 5. The skeletal electron pair is equal to 6. Since W is equal to minus 1, the type of cluster is nido. That means one vertex is missing from the parent delta hedron. Since the X value is 5, the structure of parent delta hedron is trigonal bipyramidal. The shape of cluster is obtained by removing one vertex from the trigonal bipyramid and removing one vertex gives a tetrahedral structure. Hence, the shape of tetracobalt dodecacarbonyl is tetrahedral. As calculated, SCP is 6 for this compound. The shape is tetrahedral as shown on the screen. The four vertex positions are occupied by cobalt atoms. That's all for now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section. If you find it difficult to reach them, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section or drop an email at adikimadi at gmail.com.